welcome to the News X Sunday Guardian Round Table. Well, right in the middle of a very interesting election, we are here at the Sabarmati waterfront trying to tap into the dynamic nature of this state election. Joining me on the round table is Dr. Ruchwik Patel. He's a youth president from the BJP. We have Sheila Bhatt, national affairs editor from NewsX. We have Rohan Gupta. He's the head of the IT cell for the Congress. And we have Mahesh Langa. He's a senior journalist with the Hindu based in Ahmedabad. Sheila, I'm going to begin with you. You know, you know Gujarat very well and you know exactly uh, how is this election different from the others? In many, many ways it is different. I think this election is very clearly div uh, dividing rural Gujarat from urban Gujarat. This this election will be remembered whoever wins, whether Congress wins or Bharatiya Janata Party wins, for Rahul Gandhi's different approach to election campaigning. The way he has gone to temples and the way he is trying to project uh, quote unquote Bharatiyata within yeah. him and in his party is a very big national event because he joined politics in 2004, right. so active politics. So since then he was showing some kind of inflexibility. Now you can see in him some flexibility. So he will be remembered the way he has taken. See, uh, Congress always tells, Congress is unsaid, not stated very clearly approach to politics is that religion is a private matter. Really, uh, uh, in a public discourse, Hindu or any other religion should not be in on public, public display. Uh, public display. But now the way he has gone, only to Hindu temples, not to all kind of temples, churches, gurudwara, or uh, Muslim uh, religious places. I think this is a very, very unique election for Congress party. And I also think that Modi and Namisha um, are also giving a kind of a taste that without their physical presence in the state, how far they can control the psyche and public fascination the for, them, uh, the for Narendra Modi. So there are many things are on test. And then okay. just a very little, I mean, uh, compared to Modi and Amisha, a small boy of, uh, and not of a... Uh, Hardik Patel. Uh, uh, Hardik Patel. But we'll and not even him. a metro boy. He is from Viramgam. So even he is giving a hard time to the so party. Yeah, party uh, Interesting new kid it's, on the it's, block. It's, it's Let resources. me, we'll go to Hardik Patel later. Let's just stick first to Rahul and Modi. Rahul Gandhi, you know, she's made very interesting observations. This is also the time and Rahul Gandhi has decided to be president. So the Rahul era and the Congress really begins from Gujarat, which is ironically Prime Minister Modi's Karambhumi. See, if you see uh, Rahul Gandhi, the way Sheila ji told that he started his politics in 2004. Mm. And uh, the way he has gone about Gujarat campaign, he has really touched hearts of Gujaratis. Not he his heart. Uh, he is not looking very touched. Uh, obviously, he will. <laughs> because he is a uh, little tough Gujarati, so we'll touch ah. him very shortly. Hmm. Point is, uh, you know, if you see 22 years of BJP rule, everybody knows that development claims are there. Hmm. But if you see on ground, see, I'm not talking as a Congress person, you ask any individual. You're sitting it's on the not water there. front, look yeah, at the then, that, area around that, you. My, my point is, if you ask any Gujarati that what is the basic development, he won't be happy. So at the time when people's anger was there, he went to villages, he went to places, he spent around 20 what days Sheila in Gujarat. What Sheila said, the rural versus urban divide. That's yeah, a good so that's point. what. If you see rural Gujarat, there are the basic, basic, basic issues still after 22 years. What uh, farmers don't get the value of their uh, this farming products. So the way he went and approached people, people really ha have loved his approach. The other approach he made is local approach. It's not that talking big about other issues. Mm. So I feel that uh, this is going to help Congress a lot. Yeah. The state Congress uh, under, I think, Rahul Ji's leadership, the way he has gone about the whole campaign. I think uh, it, it, is, it will really make big difference as far as Gujarat elections are concerned. And so you hope, you know, let's first talk about Rahul Gandhi. You know, he has changed his approach. He's, you know, what do you make of his temple visits? I know you're calling it temple tourism. But is the BJP, there is <coughs> some threatened by the, the BJP is feeling a little insecure. We suddenly see 30 cabinet ministers descending on the stage. We uh, st state, we have postponed the parliament session. So is the BJP a little bit nervous? See, uh, we are not at all insecure. And uh, as far as the central leadership coming to Gujarat, so we have that kind of cadre. We are a cadre-based party. We are not a one family party or private limited Gandhi and Gandhi company mm. that only Gandhi can become a president of 
Indian National Congress, no one other can. Our Amit Bhai was a, just a booth level karyakarta who become, became president of BJP. And it is possible in BJP only. And uh, as far as Ra Rahul's uh, temple visit is concerned, so it is nothing but a uh, propaganda for, to, um, it is a uh, policy for a makeover of a, uh, a, a boy who has failed so many times and they have failed to launch Rahul Gandhi effectively. Rahul Gandhi went to 28 states for election and in all 28 states, Congress got defeated. But this 29th and, is a crucial and, state for you? No, no, it is not crucial. Again, they are going to, uh, they are not going to win. So, what they uh, planned, that the dates are such that before the counting of Gujarat happens, uh, he will become president of Congress. Because after counting, I don't think so, he will be able to. And at the same time, at the same time, in 18 states, after becoming national president, I mean Shaji, uh, in 18 states there was uh, elections, and all in all 18 states BJP won. Why? So it is what a happened clear... in Bihar? What happened in Delhi? No, 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 no. Yeah, your, your after, counting uh, uh, is selective. Chalo, <laughs> <laughs> what do you make of uh, the, the whole Rahul makeover? Does the Congress is the Congress right in thinking it has some sort of a chance? They are not talking about winning the state, but they are saying we'll decrease the BJP's margin. Well, that's right, and uh, as uh, Shilaji said that, you know, Rahul, this is for the first time, you know, you know uh, a member of Nehru Gandhi family spending, you know, uh, days in Gujarat, leading three-day, three-day, four-day yatra in each uh, region of the state, Saurashtra, North Gujarat, South Gujarat, uh, Central Gujarat. So, in that way, it's uh, unique, you know. And secondly, well, he has gone, he has gone to all temples and uh, BJP has created issue. But the uh, no, thing... we have not created issue. Well, he himself, you are, you because are. Because registering himself as a known hero. 75% of the leaders in BJP. Well, what does speeches. it mean? They talk about Congress, they talk about Rahul Gandhi. They have developed Rahul Gandhi phobia. No, so no, I no, why will understand. Sure. You are very happy. I can, no, no, the mode uh, is Rahul no, will be in Gujarat. No, we are going to no, be no, benefited. No, uh, no, he is no, our star pichara. Yeah. Yeah, they should have, uh, BJP should have developed uh, Rahul phobia. Instead of that, they have a Hardik phobia. See, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, yes, that is this true. Is a, this okay, is let, also... Let Mahesh, let Mahesh, let Mahesh uh, have his piece. Huh? So Rahul going to temples, and but uh, if you see his speeches, he's uh, you know staying superb local. He's talking about GST, he's talking about demonetization, he's talking about you know lower MSP of uh, you know Farmers. farm products. Mm. Then he's talking about uh, jobs that are not you know being generated despite high level of investment and high level of industrialization in Gujarat. So he's staying focused, and that you, is what. How is uh, is he making an impact? Well, you you know, to some extent he is, and particularly in rural areas where. Uh, so not kare ja rahe hai. Yes, 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 yes. So that's uh, uh, that's because of him, or because the way economy is do going, you know, it's slow down so in the, the economy, and also. graph of Modi is also little, you know, uh, down. So impact is there. Uh, but Modi has the luck of timing. GDP figures have come in his favour. He's done the cost correction of GST well in time before the polling. Tishila, uh, you know, we've talked about uh, a little bit about Rahul. What about Modi and Amit Shah? How are they running this campaign? The fact they've delayed parliament shows they are a little bit worried. They are ministers are they are saying we take every election seriously, whether Manipur or Gujarat. But there is a difference. Narendra Modi, Amit Shah and the entire BJP machinery, they are on, they are defensive. But I, I think that is their style and culture of fighting election also. So we should not read just that they are defensive, so, so they are on a back foot or they may lose like that. Mm -hmm. It is, they always show this kind of shine. Even uh, when they were fighting Delhi election, we remember it was such a, at a ridiculous length they went. That's why and the all, result came and like this. Came, <laughs> no, but it doesn't, but they, in other states they won also, Rohan. So I, I think, I, I think uh, we should not read too zone. much when they are so so defensive or so aggressive both ways. I think the ground realities and the, the factors are more important. And uh, uh, right now I feel Narendra Modi is trying to connect with people by his most uh, uh, pivotal line is Hu to tamai, hu to Gujarat ni rag rag janu chu. He is trying to project son of a soil image completely that I am one of you and because I am in Gujarat, Gujarat has a double advantage. So that is his projection and he is trying hard to say that I am one of you and tamaj mane mukhlo che Delhi. So you have sent me Delhi and uh, obviously, uh, uh, obviously I will work for you. That is all. And second, uh, and Amisha, he is doing as, as his uh, le uh, the current legion goes that uh, every single seat has 
two MPs and every district has one cabinet level minister of uh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Centre and, and the entire uh, and I can tell you one thing uh, mm. for sure the way we have reported these things that uh, Amit Shah's hard work is much more here in Gujarat today than what he did in UP in 2014 and uh, in assembly election. He is working harder than that. Okay. So obviously you can uh, uh, judge that uh, what is at stake? Uh, what, uh, what are they at stake? And also I think uh, Congress party, uh, he, he never ta takes them lightly also. Na? He may say something in like, Congress Mukh Bharat and but he's a he's a he's a pragmatic uh, matured politician. Yeah, so he knows mm -hmm. importance of Congress in Gujarat. Congress with a massive uh, vote share in Gujarat, oh. nobody can take them so lightly. They do have so a I think, I think vote battle uh, is really finely poised and uh, it's an interesting battle. It's a very interesting battle and after a long time, I think after 22 years, the Congress is sensing some hope, you know, we can make out from their body language, the way they've been spending so much time on this battle, they've even pegged Rahul's elevation around this. So, are you a little bit worried? Do you see a change in the la no, body we language? No, we are not worried at all and huh. how can they have hope? See, what they are doing, they don't have Karyakartas, they don't no, have Niti, the, okay. they don't have Niyas, they, they don't have Nita, so they have outsourced, what we know. the whole election they have outsourced huh. so to the, now, uh, these Andolan And uh, from the beginning, uh, they knew that they cannot fight election uh, on the uh, development model or on the some other points of Congress. So what they did, they hmm. backed this uh, agitation thing. And they are also behaving like a Congress B team. And they try to uh, disturb the peace and the development model of Gujarat, but they failed. But how initially, the... initially, there was uh, some emotional touch hmm. because they talk about the betterment of some society or particular uh, Samaj. But now the Samaj also knew that this was just a political hidden agenda and it was politically motivated. So now, uh, again, uh, if they are partidars or if they are OBCs, hmm. they are they were with BJP, they are with BJP and they will be with BJP. But Hardik and is standing with Rahul and not no, with it's Modi. Okay. It's okay, it's Hardik okay. Is not a... Hardik is not res uh, representative of whole partidar community. He is a just he's, leader he's, of partidar he's, Anamat Andolan Samiti. But I am partidar. I am proud of that I am a partidar. Hmm. Uh, See, and so many partidars, youth like me are with BJP. Partidar and BJP are two sides of one coin and no one can uh, uh, make them uh, separate. Except there is a new currency called Hardik Patel in the middle. <laughs> but uh, tell me something. Fake currency? Fake currency, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we will see. Chiller hai this is world new, new hai. notes after your demonetization. <laughs> okay, uh, coming back to, um, uh, you know, this, uh, the Modi versus Amit Shah, this, uh, I'm seeing that the, the talk should be Modi model, should be development. It's actually the talk of this campaign has become Rahul. Rahul temple ja raha hai, Janehu pan raha hai, Hindu hai, Muslim, you know, Muslim vote kar raha hai. That has now become the whole issue. That's what BJP wants because BJP doesn't want to, you know, uh, fight elections on employment, uh, doesn't want to fight elections on local issues, lower farm, pro you know, prices for farm produce, uh, uh, agriculture distress and uh, uh, kind of, uh, last, in terms of agriculture, last year was good but uh, previous two years were, you know, uh, uh, semi drought so we have massive farm so distress in the states. So urban areas BJP is strong, rural areas Congress is sensing discontent? Well, you know, in urban areas BJP is very strong because Congress doesn't hardly exist in urban areas so uh, uh, BJP Give is very strong. Give me the emotional value of Prime Minister Modi, you know, because we've been speaking to people, everybody says, Jaisa we are, lekin apna hai. That is true. That people is. people like him, uh, uh, and he he's son of the soil. So people, you know, people take uh, uh, pride in the fact that uh, from Gujarat he he became uh, prime minister. You know, defeating all the odds that he yeah. had to face. So the, the, there is no doubt on that that people take pride. But uh, uh, whether but Rahul's that, grandfather is also Gujarati. They don't treat him like one of their own. Well, you know, the, his his grandfather is certainly Gujarati, but uh, the Congress party never highlighted that, never projected yeah, that. That so, is something you need yeah, to work see, on. Two points I would like to make. Okay, here. first we need to take a break, then we are going to come back and hear what Rowan has to say. The Congress defense of the campaign. So stay with us.
Welcome back to Round Table. Well, we are here at the Savarmati waterfront trying to find out the pulse of a very, very dynamic election. Rohan, you handle the social media for the Congress. We've seen in this election there's a new social media presence for Rahul Gandhi. You know, he's aggressive, he's 24 by 7, he's witty, he's reacting to people, he's trying to sound like the boy next door watching the video of his dog. Uh, tell us something, the thoughts behind this. See, before that, I'll just make one comment which has came out of development, mm -hmm. this discussion. See, if you see BJP, they have ruled state for 22 years. Ideally, if they are talking about Gujarat model, they should have talked about the manifesto promises and its fulfillment. None of their speeches, 75% of the time in speech, goes about talking about Congress and Rahul Gandhi. Okay. So I think people of Gujarat, they know this. They don't have anything to speak, number one. Just, I'll just finish. Like he talked about son of soil, yes, he always tried to market that. But if you see Gujarat for last two, two and a half years, a lot of incidents have happened where, you know, Gujarat is expected him to react or at least come. Like Una or Nalia or farmers agitation or even Patida agitation. I'm not going into politics of that. But at least as a Gujarati, they no expected him. Minister. He's a so prime minister. No, no, that, so the, now then he is prime minister. There is a difference in his so profile. when it comes to voting in Gujarat, he's son of soil. And when Gujarat is in distress, he becomes prime minister. So okay. my point here is... When the UNA happened, what we did? We there is no reaction. No, 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 no. We reacted with a zero SPM tolerance. Come. SPM was come. What, what tolerance? Name, but CM was Till handling it. Why should PM come for an issue? So now but we were here. with the, we have when that sensitivity. Ron Bai, you, you cannot make a Una thing a Dalit tourism. Okay. You, what you no, did? No, you are using wrong words. If no, no, no. You, you did that. You, don't you did that. You make that up, that issue as a tourism spot. You cannot. Una thing, we tackle it with a zero tolerance. All are behind the bar till now. Yeah. So I made these remarks touching to social media campaign. See, we started as far as Gujarat is concerned, the campaign started with Vikas Gandhu Thayoshi. Mm. What was that? We never named BJP. We never talk about their leaders. What we talked about. That is, was also outsourced, huh? No, let it be. Like I will debate it separately. You can come to my office and we will see whether it's outsourced or not. What is the development they have been talking about? No, we it's had that paper. development discussion. We, I want not no, the social no, media no, discussion. Social media, social media also, only. We okay. replied very strongly because, with Hutu Vikas Gandhi Gandhi Gujarat, Gujarat, that's and we proved that. Because and where we are it's this social debate, media is the thing. best example okay. of Vikas Gandhi. I am giving the example how it started. Okay, I got they it. Talked about Sheila, just, 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 no, just I've got it, I've got it. Sheila, how do you make of Rahul's social media profile? The new makeover, the change. No, no. Uh, we are sitting in Gujarat. I tell you, uh, since 20 years, I feel that there is only one Gujarat model, and that is Hindutva model. There is nothing else to talk about, and uh, that's why I, in the opening debate, we say, I said also, and I think many people will agree that most important thing that has happened is that in 2019 we will be discussing how Rahul Gandhi changed himself in Gujarat and in a way under the so under, under the, under the public no. pressure because see public is liking it he is going to temples mm -hmm. but also under the BJP's complete makeover of this Gujarat making making marry of the Gujarat model that is nothing about development it's about Hindutva so he has adopted in his own way by yeah. by after amending himself and correcting himself. So I think this is very interesting and uh, it's a matter of debate and it will okay. take um, two more years to debate that under how, you know, in, before 2014, BJP leaders in Gujarat, including Amit Shah, they knew that Congress after two years, if they come to power in 2014, they knew, in, I'm talking of 2013 uh, debate within mm. BJP, that Congress will follow them in this manner and that has happened in Gujarat. I, I, I'm not giving okay. opinion whether it's good or bad, mm. but till 20 2019, we will have to understand this that uh, if mainstream both parties are casualing, pleasing, and trying to attract Hindus by doing this kind of a political messaging, what it means for India, okay. we don't know. Which brings us to Rahul Somnath visit. Uh, Mahesh, what do you make of the whole controversy? Well, you know. Uh, one person called Manoj Tyagi, who is the Congress. Yes, uh, who who is uh, apparently with the Congress. Media he coordinator. Made, media yes, coordinator. Uh, so he made the entry <coughs> in the register. I don't know whether he was told by the temple authorities that this register is meant for non-Hindus. He mentioned two names, Ahmed Patel and Rahul Gandhi. 
So that's the uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi made the entry only in the register meant for visitors, and he he, he made some remark there. But uh, in the register, which was you know apparently meant for non-Hindus, there are two entries. That is Ahmed Patel and Rahul Gandhi. How significant is this? And and uh, but Ahmed's uh, wise spelling is incorrect. Absolutely. Yeah. So that is. And, and uh, also okay. Rahul Gandhi. Okay, let him make okay. his mind. No, no, no. no, no. See, see, Manoj Tiwari, the media coordinator of Congress party, cannot dare to write a single word. Or alphabet cannot, without his boss permission. He cannot even write wrong spellings. No, of, of course, then then no one and will write no, also Rahul Gandhi. And there is no similarity between. Absolutely. If we have done that, we will never put Rahul Gandhi. So you don't respect Rahul Gandhi. Of course, Gandhi, no. Right? I, I, we respect, but we so don't respect that much that we will put G so on G the end. G is too much. Number respect. one. Number two. Hmm. I will congratulate Rohan Bai for uh, making a non-Hindu uh, as a president of Indian National Congress. So in again, you are insulting. No, I am not insulting. I am not insulting. I am not insulting you. No, no. Let him talk. Let him talk. He is Hindu. And he is Janav Daru Hindu. That's why that has impacted him more. That is more impacted him. I'll, I'll reply to that. Okay, let him reply. reply. Let him reply. Let him reply. Let him reply. You see, Mr. Manoj Tiwari is this thing. Just, 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 let, let, him, let him reply now. Let me finish. Let, 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 let me finish. This is not a debate. Let him reply. Let him reply. He has explanation. Let him reply. Yeah. So, if you see the whole story, when Manoj Tiwari went, this was some signature was taken. Like Sila Ji rightly told, Manoj Tiwari. Next person in media, he doesn't know Ahmed Patel's spelling. The difference between the handwritings, it's quite visible. There are many portals. They made the comparison of handwriting. The conclusion was they are different. Hmm. So my point is, how low can you? I'm not naming BJP here. I'm just saying how low one can stoop. And you know, within 15 minutes, the copy of the register out on social media. The original sign of okay. Rahul Gandhi ji. And that Somnath, 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 Somnath Trust, Trust, Temple Trust is. Let's not forget the fact that Somnath yeah. Temple Trust is headed by top BJP. Happy leaders. Yes. Prime Minister Modi is a With trustee. Amit Shah is a trustee. Shai no, 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 no. And, and Keshubhai Patel is a chairman. Yeah. 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 He is referring in the... That's what, that's what yeah, he is saying. Yeah, but, but we don't... But majority of the trustees are top BJP leaders. Yes. 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 And the original... No, right. no, 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 I'm not saying. I'm just pointing out the fact. I've understood it. But just explain to us the significance of Somnath Temple. Why is it so important? Uh, you know that uh, over there, if Rahul goes and signs in a non-Hindu register, just explain the significance of it in the election purpose. Well, you know, Somnath uh, is very important, uh, significant in the sense that uh, Sonia Gandhi also begins her elections from there. E yes, yeah. Som uh, Somna Ga Sonia Gandhi. No. I don't remember. No. Uh, they they un I mean, Adwani. Yeah. Adwani. 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 This is our routine. So, Same here. Yeah. yeah. I don't Same here, he's saying. We are, we are much better <laughs> in hey, than you, but we don't market. market. For Rahul, is never, see, as far as politics is concerned, see, Tiranga is my brother, that, see, <laughs> okay. hai mera dar, that is Rahul Gandhi. Nee, let me finish here. We never use our religion for politics. That is Congress. Okay. See, you, we have yeah. always yeah. done that. You ask Sheila Ben, if you see 22 so. years, religion is the only point you have used. But this time, people of Gujarat, they know you. They now will vote on development. You just say that you choose. इमोशनल एंड you know sentimental uh, attachment in gujarat and that's why bjp you know uh, for more than 30 years now bjp leaders are controlling the somnath, somnath trust, trust. Huh? so starting from keshubhai advani ji then narendra modi okay. uh, amit bhai so it has lot of uh, emotional you know uh, uh, attachment in gujarat but you know there is one issue in this uh, entire debate that congress uh, leaders including uh, local leaders arjun madwai and others uh, they are privately saying that bjp did a mischief because this mohan uh, this uh, tyagi uh, just signed uh, the register and he left but i don't i don't know the fact i don't so know the fact i don't know fact but okay. the issue is that uh, when rahul if rahul gandhi is non hindu then 
uh, it, it has a different connotation and uh, it will give him a different kind of a public profile and uh, and particularly in Gujarat. But I think this is a material, whether he is Hindu or non-Hindu for us, for anybody, any, we spent any good India. Ha, unfortunately, ha, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying more important is that Rahul is going even to Somnath now and uh, 2002, 2007, 12, we did not see all this. That's why I'm again and again saying this election is very different. Uh, and personally, we are so we are in a 21st century, 17th year. Who, it doesn't matter who is who and what faith. They, they, if they follow Indian constitution, it should be okay. But uh, it is not so in real life. And I, uh, this in this uh, Gujarat election, I also I also feel that more than development, public sentiment. If it is changing for Congress, that will make a difference. Not how much you condemn BJP and how much BJP gets the brick bets. I think what Congress needs is a positive feeling within people. And they are looking that for Gujarat for that. The, I'm saying yeah, such I a got difference. It. And yeah. Okay, we have to end now, but it's very interesting what Sheila said. The Congress is looking for a positive feeling from what is essentially Prime Minister Modi and Amit Shah's Karmbhumi. Will they be able to get that? Will the people of Gujarat at least bend a little towards Congress in time for Rahul's elevation? Or will they give him the cold shoulder? Well, that's something we'll know soon enough, but that's it from us. Thank you for watching this show. We'll see you again same time next week.